Dollar am Fang. Pringles. One pop, you can't stop. <laughs> Disclaimer, we are not sponsored by Pringles. <laughs> Fucking yash. Start for them to uh, stuff in their faces. Pringles. So yeah, welcome back to Scott's play Resident Evil 5. Five times better than Resident Evil 1. And uh, if you remember correctly, in our last episode, Nelson here was telling about uh, telling us about his dream dinner party. Yeah. In which I end up bedding Emma Watson. No, I don't say that happens. You were getting to it. I wasn't. I said you cleaned yourself profusely. <laughs> they use that word every episode. Of using <laughs> using her vagina is a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die. What's going on here, by the way? Uh, Chris is in a fight with Wesker. Is that his name? Oh. Yeah. Was he not in some mad spin-off? Or not not a spin-off, but he was in something that was totally unrelated to Resident Evil. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's the one. is not that unrelated, because it's Capcom. Oh wait, no, 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 that wasn't it. Because that would be related and I wouldn't have brought it up. I don't know why. I'm sure he was in something, you know, kind of like Yoshimitsu's in Soul Calibur. Yeah. That sort of thing. I can't remember. It's going to do my head in. Maybe I'm talking utter bullshit. Okay. I so, kind of hope I am. Right, continue with your story about Danny the dinner party. just turned up. He's let himself in, as I said. So, the next person to turn up, Simon Neal from Devil Cairo. I've actually paid him in advance to sing everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, he just comes like, hello, he's saying. And Danny Trio's just like looking at him like, I'm going to fucking deck you. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, I said all <laughs> Simon, he was like, oh, I'm for the fucking scheme. He's not, though. Aye, right, but he's from Kilmarnock, so everyone else knows him from the scheme. He was in the scheme. He was that one that had the dog called Bullet. That was Marvin. No. I've got Marvin on Facebook. Do you? Good guy. No, you don't. It's actually his real account, I think. Um, I don't know. The other one. I don't know, one of the other people from the show was commenting on it saying here, if you liked this one, wait until the next season. And I don't think there's been a next season yet. Or has there? Has there been two seasons of this game? No, there's one more. And they wouldn't show the fourth episode for fucking ages because one of the two of the people in it were in jail. (coughs) No, they were on trial or something. For something that happened in the episode. Uh, I'm not sure. It may have been because... It was something like they weren't allowed to show it because it could, like, if the jury saw it, say. Right. It could change. Okay, back to the dinner party. Yeah, Simon Neal showed up, he's singing, singing his heart out. And then I'm like, yeah, thanks, Simon. And then, it's half past six. She's a bit late. She is a wee bit late, but fashionably so. Yeah, fashionably late. Emma Watson turns up. Yes. He picked up a beast slate. <laughs> beast slate. Mate. My be slate. And you're just staring at Emma Watson the whole time. Like, oh, just goes full on erect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to heal you. You what? I'm going to heal us. Come here. You're in heels. I'm going to heal us. Ah. I thought you were still talking about the dinner party. <laughs> no. And that you were wearing heels. Why is that not shooting the... Be scarab? Don't know. Here. Gonna fucking gaff that post. You. <laughs> There's something you can press X somewhere down here. There you go. Wow. <laughs> um, see, usually you have to shoot these things so that they fall down. Exam. Cops of BSA agent. Such a tragedy. It's PDA, isn't it? PDA. Wow. I got a ruby. Something about square sausage. Uh. 
Right, anyway, I'm sure the dinner party's not over yet. Yeah, it's not. I mean, we've, everyone's only just arrived. I'm, ser- I'm serving, uh, you know, like, uh, pigs and blankets as, like, little appetizers. Is that your starter? No, it's my appetizers. Jesus Christ, Neil. No. You're trying to fatten everyone up? <laughs> Why well, you, you've arrived, you have little appetizers. Are you driving the boat? Yeah, I should probably start driving. <clears throat> Hold on. Just put my bottle on the ground. RT and A for Turbo. You ready for this, Neil? Yeah. That's Turbo. Wow. I should probably get the wee map up. Right, uh, I'm wanting to go this way. Right, so I'm serving pigs in blankets. I've been in the kitchen all day where you've been in the shower. And I'm like, yeah, uh, we're all having a wee chat. You know. It's your dinner party, no, mate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So don't make me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been using my fucking shower. Maybe I wanted a shower, but now I can have one. I reek of I fucking, fucking food. fucking reek all the time. <laughs> Shut up. I reek of food. And you, you're just like, sorry. You've used up on the hot water. That's just fucking bullshit. I'm not having it. I'm not happy. You should get a better boiler. Sorry? Should get a better boiler? Oh, I don't have a better boiler. I spent all my money in my fucking house estate. <sighs> and paying Simon Neil to sing. <laughs> yeah. And the food for the party. Money well spent. <laughs> He's like, thank you for having I'm me. hoping for a decent meal if that's thank what you've you spent all your money on. I would head the whiz online. They wouldn't actually sing that because we wouldn't be playing the Xbox. We'd be sitting around. That's Alan. I know it's Alan. I'm not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know, it could be a different Alan Henderson. <laughs> yeah, it could be. So, you know, we're having a wee chat. I'm chatting to Danny about his uh, his work in film. Asking him what it's like to meet uh, Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. What it's like to be Tarantino. <laughs> I think meet. you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> meet! Uh. Meet Tarantino. He's like, yes, it's very good. It's very good. I'm like, yeah, okay, Danny, you, you, you're just like a fucking buzzkill. <laughs> but I don't actually say that to his face. Because <laughs> he'd pummel yours. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen a picture of him where he's wearing like a white uh, jumper and he's holding like a puppy. So, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Honestly, it's fucking funny. I don't think he's as big a badass as he makes himself no. out to me. No. <clears throat> he used to be into drugs and all the rest of it, but now he's just into puppies. <laughs> Who isn't into Which puppies? Which I think is illegal in most places. <laughs> Not Mexico. <laughs> Nothing's illegal in Mexico. Swine flu is legal in Mexico, let's be serious. They didn't even give a shit. They just went about their day-to-day lives. Can we not take these shoes? I think they'd be quite useful. Do you know Danun had the most cases of swine flu in like the one area in Britain. That's how much to catch the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like quite a big thing and like I was in school one day and oh no I'm gonna tell this story because I will just get sidetracked. <clears throat> I was in school one day and at lunchtime see these people like a camera crew and that. Yeah. I go up and I'm like here uh, I know it sounds a bit rude but what are you doing? <laughs> then the, the, the woman was like, well, you know how there was that swine flu thing a year ago? And I was like, aye, of course I fucking do. Everyone was scared to leave their fucking houses because they're all absolute idiots. And she was like, well, we're kind of doing like a one year on kind of thing. And I was like, what the fuck were you expecting? Sort of post-apocalypse wasteland. <laughs> there was something like 18 recorded cases. Fuck off, we're not zombies. <laughs> that was we're pretty much the end of that. I don't know what came of that, but uh, there was like interviews on BBC News and that, of, like just random people from town just been like, aye, aye, these people came back on a bus for Glasgow and they were all sharing out the same bottle and now they've all got swine flu. <laughs> so if you're drinking Bucky, don't fucking share it. <laughs> I'd never share my Bucky with <laughs> for me. I don't drink Bucky anymore. Not after that one fateful day. <coughs> Sheva. Sheva. What? Sheva. What? I'm calling. Jump over. Is your dinner party over, by the way? I no. can't remember. 
Right. We've not even had first course. Oh, fuck, sorry. Is this a fucking monkey statue? I was just too fixated with uh, Emma. Yeah, you are. You're just staring at her. I heard Simon and you were chatting and you're just like, you're just standing in the corner staring at Emma Watson. And she's, she's, off, she's put off by it, really. <sighs> she loves it, right? <laughs> <laughs> she fucking loves it. She's wee dilly. Kidding, folks. I'm spoken for. Unfortunately. Um. Why are these people grey? I don't know. Just fucking run through them. I can't be arse fighting them. Ah! <laughs> How could someone do this to them? Look what they're doing to us! <laughs> See, I told you shields would be effective. I told you! What are you on about shields? I said shields would be effective. There was shields on the ground and I was like, surely... If we took these, they'd be a bit effective. And they are. Say another motherfucker. So anyway, it's seven o'clock. I come through to the living room where everyone is, and I say, uh, "Can you please uh, come through to the dining room? First course is about to be served." Do you really say it like that? Yeah. That just makes you sound like a bit of a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't say it like that. I just say, "Come and get a seat." Dinner's ready. Right. So you all come in to my first course. Which is square sausage sandwich <laughs> with tomato <clears throat> ketchup or. I'm gonna stop you a second. There are crocodiles in the water, just so you know. Or brown oh. sauce if you so wish to be a freak and have brown sauce in your sausage sandwich. But that's that's first course. That is true, only freaks have sausage, uh, brown sauce in their sausage sandwiches. Yeah, Emma takes it though, it's pretty weird. But she's never had square Emma sauce. takes it pretty well. <laughs> she's never had square sauce before, she doesn't know what she's doing. But she just realises it's such a taste sensation. Danny oh, Trail sure, Trail <laughs> spits his out. He's like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, Danny. Danny Trail's a bit of an asshole, <laughs> is isn't he? he? I, I wish I'd never invited him in. <laughs> He just acted like a right cunt, to be honest. <laughs> Spitting out his saucy sandwich that I fucking uh, slaved over making. So, there's a guy behind you. I just told you there's a guy behind <laughs> no, you. No, I was turning round. I'm getting this egg away. Oh, it's an egg. That's why it's not an egg wing. That'd be pretty weird to put in your pocket just an egg wing. <laughs> so everyone enjoys it, apart from Danny, obviously. I mean, Simon Neil, I mean, he's Scottish, so he fucking loves it. And you love it as well, do you? Do you? Do I? Do you like square sausage sandwich? I do. Yeah. Who's not fond of square sausage sandwich, apart so, from Danny Trail, the big dick? <laughs> ah! Sheva! <laughs> Face palm. Face palm. So, yeah, so. Emma Watson quite likes it. For her brown sauce. You know, it's kind of a weird way to have it. Bum. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone from Danny Trail. I mean, I love it. I made it, so. I think I've got to do this crocodile. Uh. So well, yeah, so for the main course we have a bit of entertainment on the go, it's the comedic stylings of Dan Schreiber, <laughs> he's decided, <laughs> he's decided he wants to do stand up, <laughs> he wants to test it out on us, <laughs> but he's fucking dire. So he's more like Danny Dyer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty weird, Danny. Um, he makes a lot of racist jokes and sexist jokes. Racist make... towards who? <laughs> Blacks. <laughs> uh, and uh, just everyone, really. He's a bit of an asshole. Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, Danny, I welcome him to my home. I let you do stand up to entertain everyone. 
but you just come out with these sexist and racist jokes. I mean, it's not Don't on. Don't jump Danny. down the ladder this time. It's not on, Danny. What is wrong with you? Emma's not not happy. She's she's having a bit of an argument with him. Say Rihanna's not happy. Emma Watson. When did Rihanna come? <laughs> she came in because it was raining. She, <laughs> she needed an umbrella. Uh, Emma Watson's kind of in a bad mood now with Danny Trailer having a bit of an argument. And Danny's just like, if I was Harry Potter, I would have fucking decked you in the fuck out. You can't. Really? And she's like, it's Asian, not. <laughs> I have to bleep that out. Can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Emma's side here, so I'm allowed to. I'm just quoting Danny Trail, the dirty bastard <laughs> that he is. But he thinks he would be a better Harry Potter than Daniel Radcliffe. Mate. He, he takes my glasses He's off. He's Asian me. or something. He takes, <laughs> he takes my glasses off me and puts them on to show everyone how good he'd be. And he takes like the red sauces on the table and draws a wee scut on his forehead. And he's like, look, I've been going to Harry Potter. <laughs> we're just like, what the fuck are you doing, Danny? How drunk are you? We've not even had any drink yet. I've <laughs> brought out the wine. Where are you? Oh my god, jump down the ladder now. You told me not to. Aye, but that was ages ago, because the bit of the slate that we were going for wasn't... The crocodile right there. You run round it. Don't walk. Don't ever walk around crocodiles. That's how they get you. Where are you? Back of the boat. That way, yeah. What were you doing now? Where are you going? Where are you? Sheva! <laughs> Up there, no, to your right! I oh, see Fucking penis. What are we doing here? I don't understand. We're getting bits of the slate so we can put it in a door and unlock it magically. Okay. We've got one more piece to get. So, Danny's just making an absolute fool of himself. I crashed. Ow. Sorry. So I'm like, oh. right, I'm going to bring up the main course. Fuck, we're getting shot. The main course right. is a... Chinese takeaway that I ordered. <laughs> what did you get in the takeaway? Uh, chicken satay, chicken and black bean sauce, and Turbo. sweet and sour chicken balls. I love chicken balls. Selections of rice. It's the best for my testicle. Boiled, portions of chips. And you just help yourself, basically. I mean, it's not in the kitchen. It's all still in the... It's not in the living, uh, dining room. Do you reckon Emma's ever had a takeaway before? What? So do you reckon Emma's ever had a takeaway before? I bet she has. <laughs> For some reason, that, like, that sounded dirty. I know it wasn't, but like, it sounded like you were trying to make some sort of cock reference. Were you? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> I just said she's probably had a takeaway before. She's um, had a lot of things. <laughs> so that's, I mean... I'm not brought it for the living room, you have to come and get it, like get a plate in the kitchen. Not living room, dining room. So that's the main course. You just wait here. We all have a good okay. We all have a good time. Uh, everyone tries a bit of something. Danny he's not that mad on it really. Of course he, he's not. He just has a bowl of rice. What? <laughs> he just has a bowl of rice, don't like Chinese food. As we've heard, he's a bit of a racist. Tell me, it's at least chicken fried. No, it's just boiled rice, that's all he has. That's all he eats. Boiled rice? Yeah, I've got a selection of boiled and fried. Who actually orders boiled rice from the chinky? Chinese. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. Well, yeah, like... I'm did it. Get on the fucking boat, Sheva. Sheva. I wasn't pressing B, I was pressing A. Oh, Sheva. Mmm. <laughs> so that's our Chinese we had as main course. Uh, Simon Neil was just trying to talk to everyone, but he keeps forgetting he has to sing and I have to keep kicking him under the table to, to make him remember. How much did you pay him? £100. £100? Yeah. A whole hundred? Right, you need to shoot these people. Yeah. These people. Yeah. Um, 
help if you weren't moving the boat. Well, if I don't move the boat, they're going to shoot us. Got any machine gun ammo? Nope. Not that I can give you right now. Do we have to kill them? Yeah. Other, like, because there's a wee gate that's been raised. The guy just blew up then. Yes. Is that it? Uh, I think so. Another Chinese. Danny, he's really not impressed. Like, he's not having a good time. He's got an argument with Watson. Okay, shoot him. Now he's got into an argument with Simon. Shoot him. I can't. You're a fucking muppet, man. Uh, he's got into an argument with Simon Neal because he doesn't want him singing. But I'm like, hey, Danny, I paid him to sing. I'm not going to stop him singing because that's what I want. I'm a dinner party. Okay. Right. So, we've had our main course. Did you enjoy it? No, oh, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not usually a... Like, I'm not usually mad on Chinese, but, you know, there was a good selection. And yeah, I, I got some that everyone would like. There's a few things that I like, so... Yeah. I mean, yeah. there was chips. <laughs> I think Danny had some chips as well, actually. I forgot there was chips. He'd probably call them fries. Probably would. And we'd all be like, Danny, we talk about fries. And he'd be like, hey, shut the fuck up. And he takes a whole bottle of wine off the table. No one's had it yet. I mean, I've got some, we've had some beers in that, like... But maybe Emma will want like a bit of wine. Danny just picks up the bottle of wine, fucking chugs it in about two seconds. So we're just sitting there golf smiling like, Danny, have you not had enough to drink today? Because it's been revealed that he's had like two bottles of tequila. He's absolutely out of his face. That would explain a lot. Yeah. Or maybe he's still got the ketchup smeared on his forehead. This <laughs> 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 it was <was> scar. <laughs> The goose Harry Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you must refer to me as Mr. Potter. So, uh, between main course and dinner, we have another bit of entertainment. And dessert, even. What kind of entertainment? Uh, <laughs> the comedy stylings of me. And oh, family. fuck. I, We've all seen that before. I've actually only got like three jokes, because most of my jokes were told by Danny Trey already. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> So, I have like three jokes and that's it. Everyone laughs like politely. Danny doesn't obviously, he's still drinking the wine. He's got another bottle, I don't know where he got it from. I only had one bottle in the house. He's got another bottle of wine he's had. <laughs> Look, Danny, where the fuck did you get that? He's like, don't ask me questions. Uh, so, I tell my three jokes that I had. Where are we going? And then we have dessert, which is trifle. Which uh, I bought from Tesco. You know, like the trifle you get in the little pots? Mm hmm. I bought like a six pack of those. Well, the wee individual ones? Yeah. Yes. I bought like a six pack of those. I mean, there's only five of us. So I have like an extra one, but that, oops, but Danny, he just goes into the fridge and gets the other one, and he's two. What a wee fat bastard, man. <laughs> Fucking Danny, man. I was just like, Danny, please, bro, come on. I'm man. so sick of his shit. <laughs> but no one wants to say anything, because he, he would just go off, fly off the fucking hand him. We know he will. That's true. He's Danny Trail. Don't mess with him. He's a big guy. Oh, fuck! Speaking of big guys, there's like one of these big fucking Magini Genie Dooney Doonies. Oh fuck. Magini Chieftain. Will you look behind you for the love of it? Fuck. I've got a Magnum. Oh my god, that guy's big. Oh sweet Jesus. I think I've got a hand grenade. I think I've got a hand grenade. Yeah, there. I just totally wasted all the ammo for that. Uh, did you throw your hand grenade? Yes. So a dessert of the trifle, and then that's uh, that's the end of the dinner part, really. Well, I mean, we all had food. We all go to the living room to relax. You know, put a bit of jazz on, maybe. Danny yes. Trio uh, stands up and changes the song, changes the radio station to like Kerrang or something. 
And we were all just trying to relax. <laughs> Danny Trejo's put on like 30 seconds to Mars or something. And we're just like, Danny, come on, man. And Danny's just like, no. I'm I don't like, think Danny Trejo's a 30 seconds to Mars fan. <laughs> no, well, he's not. He just put Kerrang Radio on. Oh. happened to be on. Just got punched by a fucking zombie looking motherfucker. Oh, fuck. There's a big guy right after them. Oh, they're absolute assholes. Knock down the ladder. Oh, great, they can jump. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned that in the first level. They could jump. So we're all trying to relax. <laughs> uh, you and Emma have got to chat, you know? Yeah? Me and Simon Neal were chatting, sort of, or he's singing to me. Yeah, I'm not a tight, but a few glasses of wine down and... Oh, yeah, there's no wine. Oh, yeah, because that fucking <laughs> cunt drank it all. There's no wine left. There you are. Hello. There's yeah, a big there's guy a, after me. No, there's a big guy in there. There's a big guy Look, he's at the window. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I want to be your friend. Exynesty. Like oh, oh, fuck. That is impassable at present. It's pretty posh words to use for that. Why couldn't it just say you can't get through here, you can't? Well, I think the word cunt would put the Peggy rating from like... Oh my god, he just... 15 was... to... 18, instantly. Is this, is this? That was such a waste of ammo. Uh, ammo? Grenade? Explosive ammo. Oh shit. He's got a big spiky club. I want a big spiky club. New. What? Is he from my birthday? Yeah. You can get spiky me a big club. spiky club. Yeah. I'll punch that fucker right in the mask. Oh shit, he's yeah. just angered him. Did I kill that guy? Oh fuck off, now I've got so both the big you... fucking cunts right here. Uh... So it's about 7 o'clock, no, not 7 o'clock, that's when we started. It's about 10 o'clock now. So we've had some fun, sort of. Danny's passed out on the floor. He's absolutely fucked. <laughs> uh, I told Simon to stop singing because it's really getting on my tits. It was such a bad idea to do that. Get £100 for that. I'm such an idiot. £100 down the drain. And then... Uh, Emma, she's still sober, she doesn't like beer, so she doesn't like that anything to drink, so you've got no chance at all. Hey, she's been chatting to me. So? She's been friendly. Alright. She was chatting to Danny Trejo as well, I mean. So, oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> 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 Are we supposed to kill all these? Mm, kill the big guys. Hmm. I don't want it. Oh Just my god. Stop moaning about it and do something. I've been whittling away at them for ages. There you go, one of them's down. Well, the other one's right by me, so that's fun. A blue enigma. There's a guy with a massive spear <coughs> getting drunk. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Run towards me, run through towards me. I'm right here. Beyond the big guy. Resuscitate! I'm okay. I'm okay. There's a guy with a his head as well. <coughs> so now it's time for the ratings. <coughs> what would you rate the night in? I don't know, I've not been on it yet. <laughs> what? I've not been on it yet. <laughs> Imagine you had. Uh, that requires too much thought. Um, I don't know. I got me Emma Watson. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And Danny Trio, but he turned out to be a bit of a twat. Uh, that would be pretty cool if he wasn't such a dick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll give it a seven. Seven. Yeah. Nice one. Uh, Simon New gives it a two because he had to sing the whole night, and then got told not to. I'm br fixing the bridge. I'm fixing the bridge. I found the place. Oh yeah. That's why we need to kill everyone, because you will get attacked while you're on that. Is it done? Um, see as soon as you release that. Yeah. Please go across it. It'll fall. Please go across it. I'm fucking trying to find it. 
It's a bit with a bridge on the map. Oh great, shotgun ammo, that's fucking useful. And I just got attacked. By a big guy. Like I said, kill the big guys at least. Did you listen? No. You went and turned the fucking wheel. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know I was being chased. I don't have any ammo. Well, actually I do. I don't have any ammo either. I've got a shotgun ammo. Ah! Oh, I can't. That's fucking hard. I want to drop the shotgun ammo and pick up actual. There we go. There we go. I dropped it. Yes! Did you? Well, there's plenty of other guys over here that I could use some help with. Why don't you just get across the fucking bridge? Oh, you fucking dick. You know what, just fucking try it. Try it without me. What? See how far that gets you. No one's chased me. No now one's chasing you. Now is the time to just get across the bridge. Mm, what if you get attacked while I'm walking across it? That's an insta death. <laughs> I don't even know where the bridge is. Right this is the bridge. Come on, 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 come on. You're a cunt. What? You thought you were a cross? There's a fucking gate at the other side, you absolute fucking dick. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Read it. So fucking much. You know what? I hate you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Fucking rolling in dash. Did we get a checkpoint right there? Must have done. Yeah, look. Right. Turn that fucking wheel. That's lucky that we actually got a checkpoint. Wait, hold on. Is there actually any enemies about it? I don't know, they could. Uh, Emma Watson gives the evening a five because of her argument with Danny Trio and Danny Trio Harry Potter and up. Well, that's not really a good reason to give your evening. Yeah, but I invited. You did. It was your choice. Uh, Danny I'm Trio, totally with Emma on this one. Danny Trio wakes up the next morning and he thinks he had the best night ever. He thinks his uh, stand up comedy went down a storm. He thinks his Harry Potter impression was fucking amazing. He thinks he got off Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives even a 10. <laughs> you don't fucking know. So my overall score was 7 from you, 2 from Simon Neal, 10 from Danny Trail, 5 from Emma Watson. Which is 10 plus 7 plus 10. Now you can release it. Maybe I'll just count. 10 plus 7 plus 2. It's, it's 24. Out of 40. 10 plus 7 plus 2? Plus 5. Alright, okay. You're open this door, though. So, 24 out of 40, that's not bad. And it's not, not bad at all. Party. Are you gonna open this door for me? Can you give me a second? Ah, fuck, it's a snake! <laughs> Where's the snake? If I kill it, I get an egg. Yas. Egg white. Egg white. Oh, don't you start that. 
or else you'll not get it these. It likes some fucking loot as well. Pretty green, pretty green shotgun shells. See, if I had came any sooner, you wouldn't have found that. See, that's how a dinner party story goes in. Yours was rubbish. Hello. She just kicked me in the face. No, I kicked the door. You were standing behind the door. What about if you had to go to space to start a new civilization? <clears throat> right. Right. The Earth is about to die, and you've been picked somehow to be the leader of the new world to go to another planet that we've found that is hospitable. Okay. And you've got to pick eight people to take with you to space. Eight people? To colonise this new planet and start. Like all like celebrity people like. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. I was going to say that would be really, really fucking boring if I just went... Uh, Kira uh, <laughs> my mum <laughs> my mum <laughs> she wouldn't be on the list what the fuck are you talking about wow I'm eating these eggs oh yes that actually heals you oh, um, delicious. Emma oh, Watson we this level, I don't know possibly yeah we've done a lot really. <laughs> We have. So maybe Let's you can see. Like Where, where's this take us? Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> you can start next week. You don't have to give reasons. You get this. I don't know. I think we really hit it off at your dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Join us next time. You can view Chris Redfield. I'll take him. Right, anyway. Watch the next part if it's up yet. If it's not, sit tight. It's gonna be a belter. <laughs> <laughs>